Yeah, why didn't you take it to work? Because Zane was coming. I Zane thought. doesn't need cake and butter chicken. Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! Shut hey. up! Shut up! So my little sister Hidaya has been having a rough past couple of weeks. So I thought nothing would cheer her up more than if I just came home and surprised her. So I tried to plan around her schedule with my stepmom. While she's at school, I can go to the house and be there when she comes back. But of course, the night before, when I texted my stepmom, she saw the text saying, when does Hidaya come home? So that's where we are in the story. With where you're about to watch right now, my stepmom and I already talked about this. But when I was editing it, it did not make any sense. And I just had to reshoot this so, I, so it makes sense. But yeah, now back to the video. I just told her, I don't know why. But did it take you a long time to answer? Or were you just like, oh, because of murder? No, merch thing, I sh thought of it two hours later. Oh my god! I don't think fast! So two hours later, she texts her back saying, Oh, it's because Zane is trying to send you merch. I just texted her right now saying, What time do you get home because I was trying to send you merch? It was supposed to arrive at 12 p.m. your time. I just want to make sure that you got the merch. She goes, I'm still at school. My ride is running late. She didn't even say if mom was running late. She said, my ride! She's really changed, huh? <laughs> In my head, I was like, there's no way this would mess up. I shouldn't have texted you. Why is she looking at your phone? Why is your phone with her? She looks at all your messages. That's an invasion of privacy. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Hidaya, I just left work. I'll be there in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Bye. That was a dry call. <laughs> She's not very happy. Well, it looks like it came at a good uh, it came at a good time. So last time I tried to surprise Hadaya, not only did she figure out that I was waiting for her, I'm never gonna try to surprise anybody ever again. <laughs> but she also made fun of me for it. Like just not fail. Okay, so you just gotta drop her off and then leave. Mm -hmm. And she thinks Don't she make her cry. And she thinks she's gonna be home alone too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a little problem. When she gets home, she usually like takes off her scarf because she doesn't need to wear it anymore. So I need to figure out where I need to be hiding. Like I don't want to scare her in the kitchen. I want to scare her in her bed. Her. Because she'll walk in that could be right at the closet it would be perfect if she takes it off game over I don't want to be right here and her walking over there I want her walking inside here all the way to her room and that'll be right there But I don't know if her scarf will still be on or not Cause if it's off that's it. I put a fake clip art wig around her hair just so I can use the clip. Okay, she's here Yo, I thought you already knew, so I was I like, oh. I knew it. I asked mom, I'm like, I thought Zane's oh, coming. Oh, yeah, that's how you knew, that's why you're crying? Yeah, that's I called, I asked mom, I'm like, I thought Zane's coming, and she's like, no, why would you think that? I'm looking at her, and she's like, I'm like, she's coming, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, when you don't post on Snapchat, I know you're somewhere you're oh, not supposed to be. No, I posted Snapchat yesterday, I said I was watching Harry play. Potter. Yeah, the thing is, Dave's Snapchat had everyone but you. Scott had everyone but you. You weren't in any of Snapchat, I knew you weren't in so it was Damn you, David and Scott! <laughs> made me drop my croissant! You know what's so funny? Mom always picks my outfits when you're coming. She's like, don't wear your black scarf to her. She's like, wear purple or something. She ruins everything. You can't tell her. She knows outfit. not to do that. I told her last time. That was a bad idea. Don't ever do that again. And they're like, what are you wearing tomorrow? And I'm like, why do you care? Like, I don't know yet. I get to decide in the morning. Like, why does she have to be so Middle Eastern? Oh my god. <laughs> I could tell Mama was mad. Like, when I got out of the car, I'm like, if my Android thing is not here and they left with it, I'm gonna be so mad. I slammed the door and went. And she probably looked at me like, Zane's probably sitting in there like she's so sweet. When your merch don't come in on time. <laughs> I slid the door like no. I went into Starbucks to get coffee and I came back in the car. She was texting it. She closed her phone the minute I got in. I'm like, why are you being so sus? I was like, why are you being so sus? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> she's being sus? Suspicious. I know that. I know that. Now that I'm here, what do you want to do today? Zane, you came uninvited. I have plans of my own. I got my friends. I gotta hang out with them. I'm here for a week. But like, my friends. They're always with me. Since when did your friends come before me? When I got like, like 15 or so. When I got like 15 or so. Keep your friends close and keep my enemies far the hell away from me. I don't even be scared like that. Ever again. <laughs> Terrible secret. I wish someone recorded when I got it. This was all your fault. Yeah, We're just I... talking about the whole thing and then it goes, well, it was weird because mama told me what to wear again uh, yesterday. Why are, you always... like, why are you telling her what to wear? The moment you tell her what to wear, that you tells her that I'm here. So we can't tell mama anything. I'm like, is Zane here? And she's like, no, and then she's like, and I'm literally looking at her like, I'm, I'm waiting because you're going to smile. I know you. By the way, since I was being nice and I decided to come here and surprise you in a very nice way, you yeah, have to- I'm going to make butter chicken for you. No, we were going to sweet tomatoes. We had a plan. 
Sweet tomatoes? That's not even real food. Be healthy. You need to lose some weight. Hidaya, that's... Hidaya, you have to make butter chicken. Hidaya, he doesn't butter, chi butter, butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken is healthy. Make butter chicken without the... Without the chicken. Without the take, take out, take out That's the- That's the protein in it. Yesterday she told me we were going to Sweet Tomatoes. And when I get my hopes up for going out, I don't like to be crushed. It's a good thing that we're not going to Sweet Tomatoes and that we're having That's powdered chicken. That's my food. I like that. That's why we took off chicken. Zayn is like, don't take the chicken out from before Hidayah will know I'm coming. Yeah, I kept asking her. Why are you being like, so selfish? I don't know what it was. He said selfish he's holding his camera for content. Okay. What's funny, mommy was like, you're going to make butter chicken tomorrow. I'm like, why? I don't want to make food. I want to go out to eat. We're not making food. We're going out to eat. Because I was promised. I worked hard. I, I washed the dishes every day. Why are you so crying? Because I'm depressed. <laughs> so is the cake that's a fail. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I tried to make a cake. <laughs> that looks like a thumbtack. Hidaya, what is that? It's supposed to be a cake. When I tried to make the cake, the icing kept breaking, and I didn't want to give it to her for her birthday. I ended up making her cupcakes instead. I think they came out a lot better. Yeah, it definitely came out a lot better than that. Hidaya, what? It was a mistake. You know when you take ceramic class, where you make like... <laughs> yeah, why did you take it to work? Because Zane was coming. I Zane doesn't need cake and butter chicken. Shut up! Shut up! Shut hey. up! Tell him it's a pencil eraser. <laughs> TV for Baba? Mm -hmm. Mama kept saying things. Like, oh everyone knows Mama and I can't keep a secret, so I don't know why we told Mama. We're all so bad at everything. <laughs> like, someone will be like, and I'm like, oh, no, I can keep a secret. And then my friends will look at me and be like, no, you can't. And I'm like, I, I can't. Like, I just choose not to. Why would I not tell you? Because I like starting drama. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're those type of girls where you go, your secret's safe with me, girly. And then you go right to the next <laughs> and person. And I walk and say by, something. I'm like, did you hear what she just said? <laughs> I should have just called you two days ago. Hey, Dai, I'm coming to scare you. <laughs> Get ready. I'm a good listener. That's the thing. That's why people tell me their things, and but they're not realizing that I can't keep a mouth shut. You waited morning. two hours to tell her that merch was coming in. I had to think of something. <laughs> Wait, were you with a client when I called you, or were you with Zayn? I was with Zayn. I knew it because you were literally texting me for. <laughs> how, how, how do you know that? You're just no, lying now. Yeah, she was texting me a conversation back and forth. Then I call her a minute later. Now she's with a client. That doesn't make sense. So either you're being a bad employee and talking and texting. <laughs> When you should be working, or you're not where you're supposed to be. We suck. We suck. <laughs> I've only cut myself like a couple times. Gotta trim the fat like we do on using. There's times we joke, <laughs> and we know it's a joke, and there's times where it's just not funny. I think the viewers would disagree. <laughs> You hard at work. I just don't appreciate you when you just go straight for my weight like that. It's just not fair. I don't appreciate when you go straight for the cake like that. What's that, Red Velvet? Cream cheese pasta. Alright, you wanna tell the viewers? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Cutting the chicken. You're gonna you, eat this you big gotta, You gotta butter, you gotta butterfly cut it. You know, that butterfly, was... when you take it, you cut it like a butterfly. You don't know what I'm talking about? It does look like that, but it's still a little frozen. No. Yes. The butterfly is when you cut from the middle? Not in half, but the middle. That you gotta you gotta make it you gotta make it thinner. Same. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. You've never cooked a day in your life. Yeah, just because you took culinary for five years of your life doesn't mean you're... No. You never critique mama when she's doing it, but me, it's... Oh, because yeah. she makes good food. I make better food than mama. This is good. Thank you. I'm a baker and a chef. I spent four hours, instead of doing my homework, why I'm failing. Hey, Daya, I thought you were passing your classes now, I baby. Am. We gotta get that YouTube channel started. I am. You don't even need, like, all these classes to become a chef. I don't need to know the Pyth Pythagorean theorem, whatever. It's a Pythagorean theorem. Look at you. All educated. I went to college. I went to Click Bay University. <laughs> Taught my professor to work. Since you're so good at chefing, and my favorite food is butter chicken, I'm expecting a lot from you, Hidaya. This better be the best damn butter chicken I've ever had in my entire life. It will, because it was made with As love. You said. <laughs> As I said. No. I'm like, Hidaya, why is the chicken all red? <laughs> What's wrong, Hidaya? You seem down. Life's just hard. Are these friends at school being fake to you? Always, bro. We've moved on to the chicken. She's already, she's already burning it. <laughs> Like, you, like, you know what burns more? The fake bitches, the muscle. <laughs> is this the type of stuff they teach you in culinary? School? We actually have proper vents in culinary. Uh, their vent is up here when it should be over here. Look at the microwave. All this salmonella just <laughs> greasing up. <laughs> I'm like, you want to try it? What's next? Because there's a there's a process when it comes up. Are you okay? It's hot. Now I know. Is that, I, I thought you're so, like... I thought you're supposed to be this top rated chef in okay, your school. Okay, but not when it's hot in here. That's That's great. Me. Just me. I talk to my friends, like if I say something and it comes out in a different way, they're all loud and I'm just like, shut up. It's and probably so loud right now. Turn the fan off. Well, it's gonna fog up in this kitchen and we won't be able to see you or me. I shine bright, don't worry. Your forehead shine bright too. What else do you need to put in this butter chicken? Like what are the main ingredients? Okay, so you put tomato paste. Uh, after the chicken is golden brown, like a little brown girl. You mean burnt, because I already see a couple already getting black. It's golden brown. 
Are you blind? You're colorblind, aren't you? Oh, good. <laughs> you know worse. I'm a cookbook. So first you gotta cook the chicken till it's brown, then you put tomato paste, and then butter. There's no butter and butter chicken. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Tell me what's in it. I'm literally gonna tell you right now. You put tomato paste. Look at me all strong. I opened that jar by myself. <laughs> guy, I opened that jar for you before we <laughs> started filming. You're so, you need to not do shit. How much tomato sauce do you put in that? You put tomato that's, paste? That's tomato paste. You make mistakes and you learn. Life's about, especially when you got a guinea pig. So you're saying I'm cute? I never said that. You know how distracted my friends get? I was telling them how I almost died at the ocean. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wait, wait, wait. What did you say exactly where when you go to the beach? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like telling you I'm dying. You're worried about what I'm wearing? And then I'm explaining, like, it's like what surfers wear. And they're like, they're like, no. They just started laughing. They're like, you can't wear it and not be a surfer. They're like, cowabunga. And I'm like, I hate all of you. They're all on my list. Like, I don't. They're all on your list of what? <laughs> I feel like shut off the camera. So. Okay, okay, okay. What are you doing? That's Sean. It's an Indian. Ooh, I don't think I was supposed to take that off. It's an Indian spice. Spicy like me. Interesting. So you don't make the spice yourself, huh? A real chef would make their own spices and their own butter chicken. I mean, most restaurants don't even do their own stuff. I know they don't use powder that's packaged in the. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Have you ever been to a restaurant? Yes, I have been to a restaurant. Have you? Should yeah. we call Ollie? Yeah, because Ollie knows what he's doing. <laughs> He works at really nice restaurants. They don't use packaged Oh, spices. YOLO? Sorry. What's YOLO? Like? You know what YOLO stands for? You only live once? That's a restaurant. No, you only leave once because you're dead after. <laughs> Food poisoning. Then you put some heavy cream. If I was a cream. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's burning the food already. Yeah. Making it correctly. It's burning? Yes. Hidaya! They cut it out. It's so annoying. <laughs> I told you you were burning it. You weren't listening to me. Man, I don't need your sauce in my kitchen. Daya said if I was a cream, I'd be heavy cream. <laughs> I'm kidding, I said that. I just wanted you to see if you would defend me, but I guess not. Why would she defend him? That's true. I was just lying, Zane. Oh, yeah. That's what the inside of my stomach looks like. Yeah, that chicken looks burnt. That does just so do you. Oh, look at all the black. Ugh. That's the spices. What's wrong with black, Zane? There's nothing wrong with black. Why is there. Hidaya, there's there's never black spots in there when yes, we're there eating is. butter Mama chicken. Always has that. You just don't love me. What does that have to do with love? Because if you love me, you would let it go. <laughs> don't scrape the bottom of the pan, Hidaya. Uh -oh. You're basically getting this morning's breakfast that the eggs burnt on the. You're trying to get that into the you food think too. We use the same one, Zane. That's how you get the flavor. That's how Baba gets the flavor. <laughs> When our dad cooks, there's only one, there's only one time Richard burnt. Well done. How do you want your pancakes? Well, well done. done. So is that burnt? It's perfect. And, and After we say, Bubba, the pancakes are burnt, he goes, that's, I made, I did that on purpose. That's how you should eat it. <laughs> like cookies? He wants them hard. They're not like a rock. Like most people like cookies when they're fresh out of the oven, like soft and gooey, like with milk. Why are they, why are they soft? They're not cooked. <laughs> sure they're not cooked. They're cookies. He's like, no, I want them like a coal. And I'm like. Imagine him going to a restaurant, ordering a steak, well done steak, and hey, getting it. What is this, rare? It's pink. Like it's supposed to be pink, sir. No, no. I don't know how he eats out. Like I don't. He, I, he doesn't eat he out. He cooks. He hates eating out. That's his biggest thing. Because the because the food is made properly. <laughs> oh, he loves playing this game. He'll make food and then he'll be like, "How much do you think this costs at a restaurant?" And I'm like, "Can we not do this, please? Like, can we not do this for once?" He's like, seventeen dollars a restaurant. It took me five dollars." I'm like, "That could use all products. Still five dollars." <laughs> Food, they would charge us five dollars too. Bob was just like, My food's better, right? Than the restaurant, he's like, I could have made that better at home. We could have stayed at home, I would have made it. He got jealous one time, he tried to make butter chicken because we all said that mama makes the best butter chicken, so uh, he decided to make it for once. It didn't come out, it didn't come out the he way he loves uh, adding things like if a recipe is perfect. Like, my dad makes a really good fettuccine alfredo, yeah. he makes the best. Ellie and Tally come over. He ruined it. He was adding onions to the sauce. Since when does Baba do He puts soy sauce in the shrimp. Oh, what? The soy sauce? People put soy sauce in the shrimp in the fettuccine shrimp. Alfredo. <sighs> like, don't get me wrong. My dad, our dad's a really good cook, but like, he was changing everything for a whole week. And I'm like, and I literally kept thinking, I'm like, what'd you do? Why did you make it different? And we were all making fun of him. I'm like, and his daughter starts making better food than him. Of course, I did make better food than him. <laughs> what? Did he just nap? No, I was like, I was like, like, no. like <laughs> yeah, I just. Hey, that, that butter chicken's not supposed to be orange like that. Yes, it's supposed, it is. To, be, it's supposed to be a little yellower than that. Can you stop? I'm trying to do something nice for you. I'm a pastry chef. <laughs> I'm a pastry chef. Everyone knows that. All my friends know that. Like my friends, are like, who's the better chef in school? And then we say one person's name. And he's like, who's the better pastry chef in school? You know how I feel about that. That's You're awkward. disgusting. <laughs> oh, you see, guys, look how good that looks. 
Oh my goodness. And with butter chicken, the bread that you normally eat it with is called palhata. Do you like Nutella? I love Nutella. This with the Nutella? Ooh, so good. Like, you that's don't understand. good. That's strawberries. We should go get Nutella. We should go, we should go to Publix and get Nutella. Because, like, it's. So I just hope I don't burn it. It's just like your dad. It's like your dad. <laughs> You know how parents they assign blame like your you know what your son did like it's not our son you know oh, what your son oh did? yeah <laughs> why your do they dad burned him. why do they do that because he's not my responsibility he made a mistake it's your kid name <laughs> you burnt it it's burning I can smell it flip it I burned it it's because it's on high. I think you like to burn things because you're <laughs> Baba's dog. I'm not Baba's dog. Yes, you are. You burnt the chicken. I sautéed it to a crisp. <laughs> to a crisp. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff from me and all my friends. Shout out to goes to Emily. Thank you so much for keeping up with all my stuff and watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. Every time I edit at my mom's house, I'm usually by myself. And it's at nighttime, so everybody's sleeping. So, yeah, I'm just going to end it off here. All right. <laughs>